I'd like to call the meeting to order for Monday, August 21st, 2017. Please rise for the pledge. Alderman Glover, lead us in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the many blessings you had, this beautiful day we had today, and the power you showed in the eclipse uh, that we observed this afternoon. Be with us and guide us. Be at this board as they make decisions tonight. Help us to recognize our other blessings as we go throughout our lives. Help us as far as doing your will and your way. Be at those that are meeting challenges today. We have several that are sick and those just lost loved ones. So be with them and help us and guide us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda, roll call. Uh, please show all present here tonight. Next item on the agenda, approval of minutes. Entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Uh, have a motion from Carolyn Norman. Is there a second? Second. Second from Mike Morgan. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Next item on the agenda, unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business? <clears throat> new business. Um, first item under new business is notice of public hearing. Set for August 28, 2017, a public hearing will be held to consider passage of the 2017-18 budget on Monday, August 28, 2017 at 10 a.m. in the upstairs conference room at City Hall. Uh, that notice was in your packet along with a copy of the ad that was in the State Gazette giving uh, appropriate notice to the public. I'd entertain a motion to uh, hold this public hearing. So moved. Motion Bob Kirk. Is there a second? Second. Second from Terry Glover. All in favor? Are you in discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, those opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Next item on the agenda, we added this today, uh, passed out a new agenda. Uh, this was an item from the last Planning Commission meeting. This is also a notice of public hearing to be held on September 5th, 2017, an ordinance to amend the Dysburg Municipal Zoning Map to rezone properties near Court Street in Frank Frank Maynard Road from R2 medium density residential district to B2 general trade and business district. Uh, you were given a new agenda. I think Lauren sent out the agenda today along with some other information and we gave you a new agenda tonight and also the information that per pertains to that as well. It was also in the paper on Sunday giving mm -hmm. proper notice to the public for this. I entertain a motion to uh, hold this public hearing on September 5th, 2017. So, Motion from Kevin Cheney. Is there a second? Second. Second from Bill S. Any discussion? I may have a question. Okay. I, I think that I remember reading in the minutes of the Planning Commission uh, that whoever requested this did not tell the Planning Commission what his plans were or, or who owned the prop or who was going to buy the property. You know, we had a little discussion here several months ago about that same situation, and I just wonder what the difference in uh, this public here, uh, this uh, uh, request was, and that other one that we had when uh, city attorney came up here two or three times and talked to us about our uh, uh, that issue. Do you know, Mr. Kirk? I do not know. I was not. A, I was not at that planning commission meeting. I'll be more than happy to find out okay. and give you that information. Right. It, well, it's a public hearing that we can discuss it at time to time, I guess, if you get that information. Sure. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Any other questions? Can uh, we get a map of that area? I pass it every day, I think. I'd like to know which we can. section that is. Sure. We'll probably have it tonight of September 5th, but we'll try to send okay. it out before that. Any other questions? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Next time on the agenda, attorney invoice. That was attached in your packet as well. That amount for the attorney invoice is six thousand four hundred twelve dollars and fifty cents. I entertain a motion to approve that. So moved. Motion from Mike Morgan. Is there a second? Second. Second from Kevin Cheney. Any discussion? I've got one question, Mayor. Can I? Okay. On the uh, and Greg's not here. How close are we on the acquiring the property out at the airport? We were talking about those. Those you know? It's already yeah. closed. We closed on it about two or three weeks ago. Did we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Any any other questions? Have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Bids, Greg Williams, no bids tonight. Finance Committee meeting, August 17, 2017. Chairman Kevin Cheney. Thank you, Mayor. 
The Finance Committee met at 10 a.m. on Thursday, August 17, 2017, at the City Hall Second Floor Conference Room. Committee members present, Kevin Cheney, Alderman Bob Kirk, Terry Glover, and Mayor John Holden. Others who attended the meeting included Alderman Mike Morgan, Robert Taylor Jr., Greg Williams Purchasing, Brandon Hutchison State Gazette, Neil Durbin, Director of Dyersburg City Schools, Steve Anderson, Treasurer, Tim Ware, Dyersburg Fire Chief. Chairman Cheney called the meeting to order. The meeting, op meeting opened with prayer. The committee discussed the following. Neil Durbin, Dyersburg City Schools Energy Lighting Retrofit Request. Mr. Durbin presented the executive summary discussion of a school district-wide energy efficient lighting project <coughs> designed to generate real savings that will exceed the district's payment for the project. The, the payment from the savings project is guaranteed to have zero financial risk to the district. The initial cost is $747,713. <coughs> the estimated incentive is $58,480. Net cost is $689,233 paid over 4.8 years. Mr. Durbin noted the project was approved by Dyersburg City School Board. The project is a loan from TVA and will provide state-of-the-art LED lighting for all city school buildings with the ex exception of sports lighting. Chairman Kevin Cheney entertained a motion approving authorizing Mr. Durbin to sign into the agreement contract on behalf of the city school system. And I guess this time I need to make a motion to approve this uh, contract to the full board. Okay, I have a motion from Kevin Cheney. Is there a second? Second. Second from Bill Eskew. Any discussion? Uh, yes, I have a question, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Durbin uh, might uh, answer this. The initial cost is $747,713. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And uh, the project is a loan from TVA. Yes, sir. What interest rate are you paying on that? Zero. Zero interest. Yes, sir. From TVA is loaning you $747,000 with no interest. Huh? They don't have to loan. I understand that, but they're loaning you 700 and whatever it is for no interest. That's hard to believe TVA do that, but I guess it, it's an ener ener energy thing. Is that correct? And that's why they're uh, participating uh, to that extent? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Any other questions? All right. I'm going to back up on that. Down here, it's it says 0.75% in contract. So, so they are charging some interest. But you said they weren't, and now you're saying they are. Well, okay. I looked on contract. Okay. Okay. Point seven. I got another question for Mr. Durbin, if I could ask it right now. Sure. Uh, I think today was a kind of a historic day in the United States. I noticed your uh, press release the other day in the, commercial, in the State Gazette said that uh, all the schools were uh, being given an opportunity to, to see what was going on today. And then I heard today that the high school did not participate. Is there some reason that the students in the high school did not get to participate uh, in the eclipse today? And if, if not, was your absentee rate pretty high today? Our absentee rate was about, uh, it was a little bit more than usual. It was about 10%, whereas usually about 5%. It was really about 95% in attendance. My initial report was it was about 90% in attendance which for a Monday is not that unusual. Uh, the high school teachers, had they had to have an, a lesson plan, and then we, they followed through with the lesson plan. We did have high school students that participated in the eclipse. We had high school students that went outside. We had high school students that participated inside as well as outside in the eclipse. Did they all include physically do that? No, they didn't because it didn't fit their lesson plans. The teachers chose not to. 
So the other schools did be, were able to go out and see the eclipse. The primary school did not. No. Did not. We did not feel that that was with the age appropriateness of pre-K through second grade and in monitoring those students. So we, but you did for the high school. The high school. Part, it's appropriate. The high school was appropriate. And the intermediate school. The middle school, the intermediate school. And, uh, and, and the middle school. I just had some feedback today that uh, high school didn't seem like they were going to participate in that, and that's the reason I'm asking the question. Some of them did. Some, some of them. Did when they had a plan and they chose to do that. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay. We had a request from the Chamber of Commerce to extend the tourism and economic development contract from two years to 10 years, a resolution to extend the term from two to 10 years between the TED Commission and the Dyersburg Dyer County Chamber of Commerce was presented for approval before the committee. The committee voted to approve the resolution on a motion by Bob Kirk and the motion was seconded by Terry Glover. The motion passed and will be presented tonight to full board and like also make a motion to that extending okay. from two to ten years. We've got a motion for the TED contract to extend it from two years to ten years. Is there a second? Second. Second for Bob Kirk. Any discussion? Yes, sir. I've got a question, Mayor. Uh, it says a resolution, uh, and it is not uh, uh, a resolution. We're doing it from two to ten years, but a resolution at some point in this ten year period could uh, be changed by an existing board. Is that correct? A resolution can be. Uh, that could be changed. Yes, sir. If some future board felt like that they, uh, it was stretched out too far. Yes, sir. Well, I, I'm all for it, and I've, I've told uh, told the people at Chamber, uh, they're acting as our agent for economic development. And I think that uh, certainly you need to, some stability for a long term to, to know that the hotel motel tax is going to generate revenues for that particular purpose, and that's why I'm for it. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, those opposed, motion carries. Okay, on the 2017-2018 budget, Steve Anderson provided the committee with a general fund update. The current balance showed 156,000 deficit expenditure over budget. After significant discussion, Chairman Kevin Cheney motion <coughs> to take the 156,000 from the city's fund balance to balance and approve the 2017-2018 budget. The motion was seconded by Alderman Bob Kerr. <coughs> the motion passed and will be presented to the full board for approval tonight at public hearing. To approve for public hearing on August 21st, 2017. Additionally, the committee agreed to schedule a special board meeting on Monday, August 28, 2017 at 10 a.m. in the second floor conference room for public hearing. So at this time, I guess I'd like to present the budget and make a motion to uh, pass the 2017-2018 budget as approved in the committee. Okay. Now, the first thing to do was call for First thing is call for a public hearing. We can't actually pass the budget okay. tonight, but we have called for a public hearing uh, to pass the budget on Monday, August 28th at 10 a.m. So we've already taken action on that. Okay. Well, you, yeah. need, you need a motion? No, no, we've already done it. Okay. We're good. I'm sorry. And that meeting adjourned at 10.55. Okay. okay. It's okay. Meeting 10. It's next Monday at 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. Okay. Yes, sir. August 28th at 10 a.m. City Hall upstairs conference room. Okay. Any any other questions? Next item on agenda report from Alderman Bob Kirk. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, in our information, we got the month of July from the Code Enforcement uh, Department. Uh, Thomas not here, is he? Uh, code enforcement complaints total was 66. Uh, is that just a variety of complaints all across the, the community, Mayor, as far as you know about uh, everything from garbage lids to garbage can lids to grass or what? It just could be a, a multitude of things. Is that 
anything in particular stands I'm, I'm going to ask Kevin a question. The 66 oh, Kevin, at here. the yeah, top, sorry. Kevin, is that the total of what we break down? Oh. Yeah, we, we were asked several so months ago to give you a breakdown. So the total code enforcement complaints were 66, and out of those 66, there were six substandard housing inspections, three notice of repairs, 38 illegal curbsides, property maintenance and categories under that motor vehicle, one, sanitation, five, no utilities, one, yeah. other two, and overgrown grass vegetation. So that totals in uh, the, the, the 66. Okay. I believe that's Thank what's Kevin saying. Thank you. Right. Uh, another question about the illegal curbside. Uh, 38 is all the work we've done is that getting any better or is it, we still getting a lot of complaints or uh, what, uh, what how how is how are those disposed of is illegal curbside uh, issues most people go and clean it up and as a result of y'all putting the placard out there is that correct Okay. Yeah. So it is improving then. Yes. Well, that, I think it's looking better around the community. Uh, apparently, they're getting them uh, in a pretty, uh, pretty timely fashion to, to get it taken care of. So uh, it's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Bill. I don't have anything, Mayor. Mr. Glover. I don't have anything. Kevin? Uh, I don't have anything. No, no, no. Mike? I just got a uh, pretty much a comment. The last meeting we had, I brought up a couple things to Mr. McCullough in the street department, and uh, he uh, took care of it, and I appreciate it very much. And I also went out and looked at some stuff down on what I call hog waller and all that. And I see we brought in some riprap on that ditch and everything. That looks a whole lot better. And I know if you're spraying a lot of ditches too, that's looking a lot better too. So I appreciate that and your guy. That's all. Thank you, Dennis. No, I have nothing. Miss Carolyn. Nothing. Robert. Don't have anything. Thank you. I'd like to remind everybody, the Dyer County Fair starts Labor Day, or Labor Day night. Um, I think it's September 4th or so. I don't know. We'll meet. We'll meet the next night after that on Tuesday night. But uh, encourage everybody to support the Dyer County Fair. And with that, we're adjourned. Thank you.